Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Navarro, and we have been talking about life cycles. You were looking at plant life cycles, and now we're gonna start looking at animal life cycles, and we're gonna start with butterflies. And as we move on, we're gonna look at frogs, and we're coming close to the end of the year, so you're gonna choose a project that you would like to do, okay? You can look up an animal of your choice and their life cycle. You can choose butterfly or frogs. And I'm gonna give you a bunch of resources that you can look through. You can choose Mayan, Brain Pop, and you can come up with a project of your choice to display your information about your animal. Okay, so today we're gonna to dive in to some new learning about butterflies. And just looking at it, do you think this text is gonna be fiction or nonfiction? Yeah, nonfiction. Okay, we see a photograph of a monarch butterfly, and the title of the story is Butterflies. And we have our title page. Also, as we're looking through the story, see what nonfiction text features you can find. Okay. Look, butterflies fluttering, floating, zigzagging by. They flash like jewels in the sunlit sky. They flit over fields and wander through woods. What do you notice about this word? Sky. That's what we're talking about in phonics. Sky, that Y is making the I sounds. They glide into gardens and dance through deserts. What are butterflies looking for? Flowers to feed on. When a butterfly lands, it tastes the flower with the tips of its feet. Their flower tastes sweet. Deep inside, it is a sugary liquid called nectar. The butterfly unrolls a long tube on its head and pokes the flower. Slurp! The butterfly uses the tube like a straw to suck up the nectar. So far we've seen a lot of photographs. What's for lunch? Some butterflies drink nectar from almost any flower. Others are picky eaters. They only feed on certain flowers. It says, how does a butterfly taste its food? What's your favorite, fresh apples or rotten ones? A few butterflies prefer to dine on rotting fruit or even dead bugs. Here are some butterflies with their favorite foods. So what are some of their favorite foods? I see some flowers, some orange, I saw an apple over here. So it seems like fruit, anything that has that sweet flavor. It's raining. What do you think they do to keep dry when it's raining? What could they do? Let's find out. To keep dry, a butterfly folds up its wings and perches below a leaf, as you see. At night, a butterfly hangs upside down to eat. To warm up in the morning, a butterfly spreads its wings wide and soaks up the sun. A butterfly's life may seem fancy free, but at any moment, swoop, a hungry, might, hungry monkey might sneak up and catch it. A mouse might munch it, a bird might nap it, and a lizard might zap it. How can butterflies keep safe? What do you think they could do? Some hide by blending in with the world around them. Do you know what that's called? Camouflage, some of them camouflage. Some have spots on their wings that look like eyes. Eye spots scare away enemies. Boo! Over here we see where they were. It was camouflaging. Where here we see wings that look like eyes that would scare away the predators. 
This is used by students, so this book has some pages coming out. A rainbow of colors. A butterfly's wings are covered with thousands of tiny powdery scales. These scales create the insect's beautiful colors and patterns. And right here it says each scale is a single color. Here are some butterflies from around the world. How many of them have eye spots? So now we see a caption to provide us more information. It's explaining what those are, the scales. And then we see labels of what type of butterflies they are. A mother butterfly flies from plant to plant, tasting them with her feet. She's looking for one her babies can eat. When she finds the right plant, she lays her egg on it. Did you know that? The eggs hatch and creep and out. The eggs hatch and out creep the babies. The babies are tiny caterpillars, very hungry caterpillars. A caterpillar gobbles up the plant it's on. It eats and eats, it grows and grows. Wiggle. It grows so big, its skin splits. The caterpillar wiggles out of it. Then it gets too big for its new skin. Again and again this happens. Eat, grow, split, wriggle. One day the caterpillar hangs upside down from a leaf or a twig. It makes a hard, thin shell around its body. The shell is called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, something amazing happens. The caterpillar changes into a butterfly. After days or weeks, the chrysalis splits open, out crawls the new butterfly. What do you notice about its wings? The butterfly's wings are crumpled and wet, but soon they straighten out and dry. Fly, butterfly, fly. Now the butterfly is ready to take off, to fly, to flash like a jewel in the sunlit sky. And then we see from egg to butterfly, we see our life cycle. And it talked about this in the book, what happens first? There's the egg. And then we have the caterpillar and the chrysalis and out comes the butterfly. And this is the stages of the blue morpho butterfly. It's pretty. And here are some butterflies that we talked about earlier. They are camouflaging with their surroundings. And then here is a way to grow a butterfly garden. Pretty cool. So that was the end of our book, Butterflies. Did you see any similarities to, this, to the silly read aloud from yesterday, the very impatient butterfly? They're very different, but they did have a caterpillar, the chrysalis, and turning into a butterfly. There aren't as many text features in this story as some of other nonfiction books, but we did see some photographs and some labels and some captions. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye.